Well, if you've been perusing Amazon Prime Day deals, you are not alone. A survey from Retail Me Not found 81% of people plan to shop, and they're going to spend about $220, which is $100 more than last year. In fact, estimated Prime Day sales have been climbing every year since it began back in 2015. Last year, it reached nearly $13 billion. As you can see in this chart, since 2020, the growth of Prime Day shopping has slowed. Last year, it increased just 6.7%. There was a huge increase in shopping in 2020. It jumped a whopping 45% from the previous year. But as spending increases, we also need to keep in mind many of us are carrying around credit card debt, trying to pay down things like student loans or just dealing with higher grocery costs. So we spoke to a financial expert about how to keep from overspending during Amazon Prime Day. Make a list and stick to it. I'm actually a big fan of unlinking your credit and debit card info from retail websites because sometimes that one click buy is just too easy. Something like Amazon Prime Day can be a valuable savings strategy if it's something that you were going to buy anyway. That's Ted Rossman, senior analyst at Bankrate. He says many people use these Amazon Prime Days as a way to kick off back-to-school shopping. He suggests if you're worried about overspending, stick to a budget by using a gift card. You know, maybe you could load up a gift card if you're, you know, especially worried about your budget, and then that becomes a finite amount that, that you've committed to. Rossman isn't against using credit cards, especially if you pay off the balance and avoid interest. He says if you use the rewards you have, you could save even more money. Amazon's Prime Visa card actually has a special sign-up bonus tied to Prime Day where you can get a couple hundred bucks. That card gives 5% back at Amazon and Whole Foods. If you're a loyal shopper and if you can avoid those high interest rates, that could be a really good option for you. You could also take advantage of price protection if you have it. The credit card companies will refund you the balance of a purchase if you found it cheaper elsewhere. But Rossman says it's pretty rare to have this. Many companies phased it out because it was costing them too much money. But there are other credit card perks that you may not be aware of, and it might be worth checking with your credit card company to see what exactly applies to you. Things like extended warranties, purchase protection, which is when something breaks or gets lost, usually within 90 days of purchase. Like I remember a few years ago, my family saved about $300 on an Apple Watch repair because it broke soon after we bought it and we had a credit card that had this protection. Those kind of things are more common these days. But if you are carrying around thousands of dollars in credit card debt, Rossman says rethink spending this Prime Day because going into more debt is going to cost you big time in the long term. Try not to dig the hole any deeper. I know it can be easier said than done, but the minimum payment math is pretty brutal. Like the average credit card balance is around $6,200, according to TransUnion. The average interest rate is 20.7%. If you make minimum payments, you're going to be in debt for 18 years and you're going to pay more than $9,000 just in interest. Rossman suggests if you're eligible for a 0% balance transfer, take advantage of that, especially if it will take a big chunk out of your most credit card debt. But if you're dealing with more debt, Rossman suggests this. Another thing you could do, especially if you have a lower credit score or a lot of debt, like more than five dollars or $6,000 in credit card debt, work with a reputable nonprofit credit counselor, someone like Green Path or Money Management International. They can often negotiate something like a 7 or 8% rate over four or five years. Those nonprofit credit counselors will charge you a fee. It could be something like a $50 setup fee and a $25 monthly fee to help offset some of their costs. But Rossman says it could end up saving you a lot of money.